Hey there and thank you for checking out my video, full course on colors and lights, as well as all of my other premium courses are available on Skillshare. Go there through the link in the description to get two months for free. And now, let's start our video. The truth about creating the masks is that it opens your door first to very precise color grading and second it actually allows you to correct every single area of the image. You are not limited to just the global color grading and global changes but you can locate very specific areas that you want to correct. And in this case I want to show you how to correct the black, something very often happening is the fact that when we color grade the image, the black color uh, changes. So as long as we don't mind the highlights changing, but when we have black clothes and when they become blue, it doesn't look well. So you actually need to be able to correct those imperfections. My color black over here did not really uh, specifically change too much, you can notice uh, the very minor changes that do not bother. But it doesn't have black color anymore, it's not as pure, so I'm going to show you a simple method how you can correct this. And you can correct this, of course, using different adjustment layers, but the key to this will be, of course, creating a mask. I'm going to try to correct this with hue saturation, and I will name this layer corrections, or black corrections. So once you have it done, we need to create the mask over the black color over here. The best way for this will be going to select and then color range. So what in the color range, what does it offer? It allows you to sample color very precisely. You can first choose the colors overall, for example, reds, yellows, and it locates the existence of certain pixels on your image. So you have few basic colors. You can also define the highlights, midtones, and shadows. So something very similar we are doing with this difference that over here you can set up your own range. If I work with the highlights on shadow, I try to be very precise and going with the maximum range and then trying to find the perfect level of fuzziness. For some cases, that is perfect way of adjusting contrasts, especially when it comes to the beauty images. But anyway, we were talking about the colors. So I'm going to sample the color and I want to choose the sample of this black. So I'm having this eyedropper, picking the black, and it's basically selected. You want to be more precise, choose this plus eyedropper and hit it a few times on the image and then adjust the fuzziness just to make sure that your selection is perfect. It's not ideal, but that will be the good start. I'm going to hit OK. And to perfect this selection, I want to make sure that my mask has what it needs to have. So. I'm going to press outer option and see the view. So what my mask has, selection of the blacks and this uh, ponytail, we could call it. Wonder if it also changed the color, but it would be needed to change it. So we're actually going to erase this and everything else over here. So I only want to correct part of her wardrobe. What I'm doing in this case, I already have chosen black color of the brush, choosing the brush and everything else. Well, I need to reset color. It didn't seem to be fully black. Press D X to switch and with black color, just paint over the areas that you don't want to correct. So I'm painting basically everything except part of her top, which is colored black. A little bit here. I'm not really being specifically careful. It's really nicely picked up over here. And this tail, I will need to paint over it as well. If you will have more complicated selections, of course, you will have to pay a little bit more attention to this kind of things. If 
your selection is not perfect as you can see you are able to notice some pixels some darker brighter so what i would do in this case i would go to filter and blur this out just a little bit so i'm going to blur and then gaussian blur i want to blur out the transitions here and till this level maybe even less more than that should be okay and we have our mask with the selection i'm going to go back to standard look so outer option press it and hit on this layer mask now i'm going to zoom in and what we can do we can simply desaturate this and the difference will not be as big but when you zoom in you can see we achieved perfect shade of black after that you can of course manipulate with the lightness whether you want to have it a little bit darker maybe so it's more options than just uh, color corrections and of course hue saturation is not only one way of doing it because you can remove the color but by making the selection and for example going to color balance how let me show you i'm going to press command or control make the selection and go into color balance in this case for example of course i'm going to turn off the visibility on the corrected area and what we could notice this image before has maybe a little bit of cyan so i would go to the shadows and instead of cyan i would add a little bit of red and a little bit of yellow and as you can see with this simple move in color balance we reduce the cyan and blue color by adding the opposite color so there is few different ways of correcting colors for this image i'm going to stick with hue saturation because it's simple and for this image absolutely suitable